Welcome back to Morning Break. Now, we are not only counting down to March 17th in Savannah, 17 days of music events are also coming up right after St. Patrick's Day with the return of the Savannah Music Festival. This year brings new events, expanded staging for shows in all genres of music. And Ryan McMakin is the artistic director of the Savannah Music Festival. He's here this morning with a look ahead. The event that uh, really fills our city with great music for more than a two-week period. Great to see you. How are you? Nice to see you, Tim. Thanks for having so, me. Yeah. Uh, back, I know we were back in person last year, but this year back in full and, and taking it even beyond uh, the great event that people remember. Very much in full this year, and we've expanded into an outdoor setting, too, so we're kind of offering a new menu for people. You know, you got your indoor venues all throughout the historic district. Uh, one covered outdoor at Ships of the Sea Museum, but then... Trustee's Garden main stage will have four nights of music out there. Uh, Buddy Guy's opening on the 25th and 26th, and King of the Blues there, this is his last tour. Oh, wow. And we've got different artists playing with him on each day, and then we have the Tedeschi Trucks Band on the 29th of March, and uh, we wrap it up with Galactic, Corey Wong, and Nate Smith and Kinfolk on April 2nd, out there. Yeah. This is something that, that every year consistently brings big name acts to Savannah, doesn't it? It absolutely does, and some of them are big names that are known well overseas as well. You know, we have a lot of international music, and that's something that's opened back up as things have, you know, kind of calmed with the pandemic. So we have yeah. a lot of world music artists that are just to top of their game uh, coming in yeah. for the festival, and regional roots music artists from, you know, say Louisiana, um, Texas, you know, uh, Mississippi, uh, just all around the southeast coming through too, but some great um, artists, uh, St. Paul and the Broken Bones, Los Lobos, Patty Griffin yeah. at Lucas Theater also. So. Yeah. And yeah. another great thing about it is if, if you love the big names, yeah. that's great. You can get those. Yeah. You can discover so many acts and so many forms of music by just taking in a show. Certainly. And that's, that's really what this festival is all about is discovery. So uh, people having a chance to come in and see some of the artists that they may know and have seen before, but then, uh, you know, try something out new out. We've got a Japanese uh, taiko drumming group called Kodo that is absolutely incredible. You're not going to see that everywhere, right? Um, uh, Sona Jabarte, a great West African Kora player. Um, so there's all kinds of music to, to get out there and experiment with. Fantastic. Yeah. So you've got uh, more staging than you've had in the past? We do. You, we do. We're bringing in kind of the biggest mobile stage there is there for Trustees Garden. Wow. And uh, very excited to, to do that. And uh, we had this great finale event out there in 2018. Uh, people really loved it, and we, now we're bringing it back for four days during the festival. Excellent. So, yeah, just a, a new format yeah. for the festival. And uh, other venues are involved as well. Definitely. Uh, Lucas Theater, Trustees Theater, uh, Morris Center, the Kehoe Ironworks Building, Trinity United Methodist Church. Yeah. So we're all over the historic district uh, in, um, over the 17 days. March 23rd to April 8th are the dates. Right. Uh, tickets are already yeah. on sale. I know the, the announcement oh, yeah. of the lineup is always a big uh, big deal, but yeah. now that as we're getting close to it, people got to start getting those tickets because several of these shows are going to sell out. Now's the time definitely to get some tickets, and some of them still are in Tier 1 pricing for Trustees Garden, so as the, that block sells out, it goes up, you know, 10, 15 bucks. But uh, regardless, we, we have plenty of tickets available, and we want people to, uh, again, try to experiment over those three different weekends with – with, uh, with, with the, what they see. Yeah. Yeah. The, the trustees, uh, is, sounds like that could be kind of the, the fun place to be. You get 2,500 people there, yeah. some big name acts, you know, people are going to be able to get up, move around, dance a little bit, it's, have some fun. Yeah, it's that different experience, food trucks, there's a family zone, there's other activities going on, um, and two or three artists each day to see. So, Fantastic. Yeah. And of, of course, I can't let you go without talking about the music festival's involvement in the community as yeah. well. Yeah, community engagement is becoming more and more an aspect of what we do all year. So the Musical Explorers program is K through 2. It's the de facto curriculum in uh, Savannah Chatham County Public Schools. Um, also the S SMF Jazz Academy, an after school jazz yeah. program. But this year during the festival, any student of uh, public school system can get a free ticket to general admission shows and, and for a chaperone as well. So we're doing, launching this Explorer program. And this is, uh, all the general admission shows are open for uh, Savannah Chatham County Public School students. Yeah. Moving on to the next generation, Definitely. keep this event and keep music in our city vibrant and growing. And uh, congratulations on, on getting back as strongly as you had and, and, Thanks, and bringing back uh, this event that everybody in our community just loves so much. Thank you. We're really looking forward to this season. Great to see yeah. you. Good to see you all too. Right. Thanks yeah. so much. Well, coming up.